piece of piece writing. Of yeah. So I, I, we sent this. Uh, Fisher uh, sent this uh, to uh, to Moynihan to read, and Moynihan, good on him, understanding yeah. the art of the situation yeah. as a thespian, <laughs> yes, as someone who knows both Red Fox and Don Rickles, the That's whole right. span. That's right. Between those men and everything that that encompasses yeah. about modern America and black sure. bodies. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, he reads about a third of the way through. Uh, it's the first first two sentences. First two sentences, and he says, "I I can read no more. Yeah, I need to make it fresh in my yeah, mind." I so he read doesn't yeah. really know. I don't know what's in this. He doesn't really know it's what's true. going. On. I don't know how he's going to play this, but this is really one of the five worst things that I have ever read from a human being in any context. It's okay, so Harvey Weinstein's this... letter to the New York Times in response. Yeah. To him knowing that they're writing a piece on all the goddamn sexual harassment suits and please wash my balls uh, yeah. orders to his underlings over a period of years. It appears to be one page, um, so I think I can probably get through it and we'll annotate it as we go. Um, and I will just do this in the same voice that I do the the uh, my work that I do during the day um, as if I'm reading a script. So I don't want to do Harvey Weinstein's voice because I'll probably get in trouble for that. So. Let's start with the sentence that I read. This is the top of Harvey Weinstein's um, uh, apology letter. I came of age in the 60s and 70s <laughs> when all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. That was the culture then. I mean, not, it's actually not really true. <laughs> you watched Mad Men a whole bunch and you thought like it was still uncool to take your dick out in like 1965. And by the way, you were like 18 years old. So if you're like the, the guy in the mailroom taking his dick out, you're just an asshole at that point. You don't even like, you don't even have anything to trade. There's no horse trading here. Moynihan, your dad, my dad, they were in the workforce in 1965. Sure they were. And your dad, I'm sure, is a douchebag. And yeah. my dad- He's I dead, so thank you very much, well, but go ahead. I said what? Yeah. Yeah. I said well, what? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> respect. Uh, my dad, not, I wouldn't call him a douchebag, uh, but uh, but he would, neither of those no, guys I, were I, taking I, their dicks I, I out. I assure you that this or, was not okay. Or having like yeah. their secretaries come was in. Was it more common? For sure. Yeah. But when you're starting that way, you're off on the wrong, the wrong, uh, uh, wrong foot. Um, I have since learned it's not an excuse since the 60s. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> that's that good. was 50 years ago. <laughs> that's good. I've since learned it's not an excuse in the office or out of it to anyone, which doesn't make sense to what to, to anyone to what that doesn't connect to the previous sentence. Sorry, so, somebody should have edited this. <laughs> Wait, so he was he was doing the the Lufa business outside of the office. Yeah, it didn't like, matter. Recently, it didn't matter. Yeah, right? yeah. He's yeah. since yeah. learned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, happened, since, I, I, since he discovered the New York Times well, was look, doing a write. He's just saying that yeah. he honed his craft in the sixties and seventies. <laughs> he was doing it like three weeks ago. <laughs> I realized some time ago that I need to be a better person, and my interactions with the people I work with have changed the interactions huh. as if he's at the coffee machine saying like did you see the playoff game it's like no you're literally taking a single ball out <laughs> and then like hey, let's talk about this and you want to be in a movie that's like not an interaction that's like that's like harassment versus like sex crime i appreciate the way i've been i appreciate the way i've behaved with colleagues in the past has caused a lot of pain and i sincerely apologize for it we'll let the apology Wait, stand i appreciate the way I've it doesn't it's not ahead. English ahead. it's yeah. somebody trying to get out of something though I'm trying to do better I now I know I have a long way to go that is my commitment my journey now will be to learn about myself <laughs> and conquer my demons oh yeah the de this is my favorite thing is because they're they're individual demons within you you can't control yeah. it's not about you yeah. over the last year I've asked Lisa Bloom I don't know who's Lisa Bloom uh, I think she's a well-known uh, lawyer okay I've asked Lisa Bloom to <laughs> <laughs> to tutor me, and she's put together a team of people. So uh, basically right now, Harvey Weinstein's saying they have a team that is his anti-rape squad <laughs> that is going to surround him all, at all times and keep his dick in his pants. Giving him the very important knowledge, which is obscure up until yeah. this point, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that it's not okay, not okay to tell someone on their first day at work at the place that you run that's yes. powerful um, that – they need to come and wash your balls. Quick, yeah, quick, quick, quick point about Lisa Bloom. She released a statement on Twitter that includes the statement that Harvey is deeply bothered by some of his emotional responses and has been working on his temper for over 10 years. Over 10 years? Wow, that's it. Yeah. Is he, I think he's working on it. Is he making any progress? Because he's just been working on it. He, co he goes on here after Lisa Bloom. I brought, <laughs> I brought on therapists, and I plan to take a leave of absence from my, comp uh, my company. Yeah, that's really not your choice. And to deal with this issue head on, 
I so, res- this is like Trumpian in the way it's written. I so respect all women and regret what happened. <laughs> I so respect all women and regret what happened. So the man who controls the entertainment industry of this country is not only like a sex pest, but he's also illiterate. I hope that my actions will speak louder than words. Your previous actions, which was like molesting Ashley Judd, spoke pretty loud. And that one day... Will be able to. Earn, oh God, this is great. <laughs> will be able to earn the earn their trust and sit to ga- down together with Lisa. It's not just going to be in you, me and you girls because that didn't work out well last time. Lisa will be there <laughs> to learn more. Jay Z. <laughs> Jay Z wrote in how does one pronounce it? Four forty four. Yeah. I'm not the man I thought I was. And I and I better be that man for my children. Except he never never wrote that apparently. Oh, so he misquotes. So Jay Z is the new Winston Churchill, like <laughs> apocryphal quotes. Um, so for his the children, he's going to stop molesting starlets while quoting Jay Z. Well, yeah, the same is true for it. me. I want a second <laughs> chance in the community. But I know I've got work to do to earn it. I have goals that are now priorities. Trust me, this isn't an overnight process. <laughs> well, so you, actually, you know you what it is? One. It is actually. It's an overnight. <laughs> Stop it. Stop doing that. I don't. I keep my dick in my pants at work. Stop it. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. These people are psychos. I've been trying to do this. For oh, gosh. I've been trying to do this for 10 years. And this is a wake up call. <laughs> So it's a slow boil with him. I cannot, I cannot be more remorseful, but the people I hurt and I plan to do right by then. Now there's a pivot. This is the last paragraph. People gird yourself because it's about to get very good. I'm going to need a place to channel that anger. So, <laughs> so as I'm going to, can I ad lib his line here? I'm just going to add a little M dash here. I'm going to need a place to channel that anger. So rather than sexually harassing the people that I work with, I've decided that I'm going to give the NRA my full attention. Wait, what? <laughs> what just happened? The fuck just happened? We were, I thought we were talking about Jay-Z. Everything is this cool. motherfucker literally exploiting <laughs> tragedy in, in Las Vegas? Yeah, absolutely is. Uh, because he can't keep his dick in his mouth? Yes. Are you fucking kidding no. me? No. I hope Wayne LaPierre of the NRA <laughs> will enjoy his retirement party. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> He's retiring because you t- you t- squeezed Rose McGowan's ass? What the fuck is happening? I'm going to do it at the same place I had my bar mitzvah. What? what? Is- He's literally he's losing his about. mind. I don't know. He's, he's jackknifed about. over his flying fist right now. <laughs> so <laughs> fuck is he talking about? I'm making a movie about our president. What? Yeah, I, I, by the way, did he ever accuse the president of being like a scumbag for, for saying grab him by the pussy? I just, somebody looked that up. I don't know. Um, I'm going to make a movie about our president. Perhaps we can make it a joint retirement party. Uh, what? I, I'm confused. One year ago, I began organizing a $5 million foundation to give scholarships to women directors at USC, <laughs> who then would come into my office <laughs> and so I would watch me masturbate in the corner. I mean, have you seen those, irate, those Persian chicks? All right, here's, and here's the final sen- sentence. Oh, God. Well, this might seem coincidental. <laughs> it has been... I was final two sentences. It doesn't me. seem coincidental Why this? All. While this might seem coincidental, I mean, he's been working on it for 10 years. He's clearly, like, I'm going to head it off the past by doing some, like, Gloria Steinem scholarship for Catherine McKinnon studies or something. While this might seem coincidental, it has been in the works for a year. It will be... Oh, God, please, no. <laughs> this is the last sentence, everybody. And then we're going to leave you for the day because this is the ultimate. My, some idiot wrote this. And we are out on this sentence, and it will be named after my mom. And I won't <laughs> disappoint her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Harvey Weinstein, <laughs> the richest, stupidest man in America. Some idiot wrote this. Keep your cock in your pants. <laughs>